What do Jensen Huang, Tim Cook, and Satya Nadella have in common? Their companies have each lost more than 150 billion in market cap this week. The S&P 500 is down for a third week in a row, mainly driven by investors taking profit at tech companies. But banks and healthcare stocks are way up. Can you guess which ones? We'll reveal the winners and losers for the week, plus which companies to look for next week as almost a third of the index will report earnings. All in today's S&P Saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,967.23, down 3% from last week. This is the seventh down week of the year 2024, with the index breaking under 5,000. The PE ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 26.96, down 0.85 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. United Health is up 57.5 billion or 14.2% after posting better than expected earnings and revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Wells Fargo is up 11.3 billion or 5.6% on reporting mixed results that were still better than expected. Bank of America is up 9.2 billion or 3.3% as the company reported better than expected results for their Q1 2024 results. Pepsi is up 8.3 billion or 3.6% on no specific news and Coca-Cola is up 8.1 billion or 3.2% on no specific news as well. Moving to the losers, Nvidia down an incredible 299.7 billion or 13.6% as the company is being dragged down by Supermicro posting a 23% drop on Friday. Apple is down 178.4 billion or 6.5% as the company saw a 10% drop in iPhone shipments in Q1 2020 24 compared to last year. It seems that time is running out for Tim Cook to find a new growth engine for the company. Microsoft is down 169.3 billion or 5.4% on scattered reporting of concerns regarding the cybersecurity defense against foreign entities. There's more news on this. Amazon is down 117.7 billion or 6.1% on no specific news. It should be noted that there has been reports of the company using unfair tactics to gather pricing information from its competitors. Meta is down 78.6 billion or 6% on no specific news. The company company just unveiled new AI tools across all its platforms. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500 index. So how to use the information we just covered? This week, Nvidia presents a good entry price as the company has dropped in sync with Supermicro with no changes to its fundamentals. 145 company will release earnings during the week ending on April 26, 2024. And most interesting will be Tesla on April 23rd at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report 50 cents EPS on 22.3 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Visa on April 23rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $2.43 EPS on $8.63 billion of revenue for their Q2 2024 results. Meta on April 24th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $4.35 EPS on $36.19 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Boeing on April 24th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, expected to report $1.43 loss on $7. 17.22 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Microsoft on April 25th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time expected to report $2.84 EPS on $60.86 billion of revenue for their Q3 2024 results. Alphabet on April 25th at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time expected to report $1.50 EPS on $78.68 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Merck on April 25th at 9 a.m. Eastern time expected to report $1.92 EPS on $15.2 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Finally, Exxon on April 26th at 5.30 a.m. Central Time expected to report $2.17 EPS on $80.88 billion of revenue for their Q1 2024 results. Which companies do you think will top the list next week? To find out why Apple and Google were up last week, you should watch this video next.